Once upon a time, somewhere in France, three-year-old Margot was holding her teddy bear on her lap, sucking her thumb and watching Mesmerize, April O'Neil helping the Ninja Turtles out. And little did she know that from then on, you would never leave her heart. In the United States, teenager Kendra discovered the first fictional hero, Terry Noel, while Marlene in France was falling for Terry's strength, intelligence, and beauty. In Canada, Sandy was watching the game plan and gushing over Karen Kelly, thinking right away that you're brilliantly sexy. In Spain, Maria wished she was as beautiful, sexy, and passionate as you in your portrayal of Elizabeth Hill. Smashing. That's what Anna in South Africa saw when she saw you in that red coat as Zoe Morgan. And in France, Elsa and Aline loved how you played such a strong, independent woman. Meanwhile, also in France, Valerie discovered that if the voice is, as they say, the reflection of the soul, then your soul spoke straight to her heart when Zoe entered her life. In Italy, Mel was watching The Hundred and was captivated by Abby's intensity. Her eyes, her voice, her determination. One simple sentence, hope is everything. And both Carla in Cuba and Terezia in Slovakia fell in love with your Abby. Each and every one was a little bit in love with you, you see? But you and they had no idea until you appeared on Twitter. And suddenly, this little grain of sand found out that, oh, there were several similar grains scattered all over the world. Jamie in the USA was learning through you and Abby how to be strong yet vulnerable, while in Sicily, Juzi said that you immediately captured her heart and would always be with her. Joanna in Portugal realized that the hope you infused into Abby, the love and compassion even when struggling and in pain, inspired her to keep being positive during the darkest times. Justine in the US thought that you were the woman she wanted to be, the mother she wanted to have, and she wanted to love as recklessly and fiercely as Abby. And so it started, little by little. One turned around and, oh, found a partner, a kindred spirit to talk to and share all those feelings of love towards you. Those were soon joined by another, and another, and another. In Turkey, Sila fell in love with a woman shining with the beauty of her soul. And before you knew it, it was no longer a few random grains of sand, but was becoming a wide, peaceful, and colorful beach, circling endlessly around the planet like Jupiter's halo. Friendships were formed amongst them, between some who would probably never have met had it not been for some magical force that put them together. Some were goofy and fun, some were quiet and wise, some were artistic and crazy, some claimed they had no talent. But as time went by, they realized that each and every one of them did have a special gift. The power to care and the will to share. Isn't this the biggest talent a human need? So, from Turkey to South Africa to Australia, across the USA, Canada, Cuba, down to Chile and Brazil, and over the ocean to France, the UK, Denmark, Holland, Belgium, Portugal, Italy, Romania, Slovakia, Sweden, and Germany. It grew and grew. All these little grains of sand of all ages, all languages, all different, yet all able to share and care for one another, all of them united in love and in tears. They were a little silent at times, although not much, but always, always, one would rise and hold the other's hand in time of trouble. Always, always, one could bring tears of laughter to the one who thought she could only desperately cry. And always, always, each and every one of them would proudly and willingly stand to support, cherish, and protect the heart, the essence, the light that made this happen. It's hard to find words to tell you how much you mean to us. We wish we could give you the ability to see yourself through our eyes. Only then would you realize how truly special you are. Happy birthday, Paige. And from the bottom of our heart, thank you. Love and light, always, always.